today I am planning an island with my husband. I have no idea really what to expect, so. Wabi Sabi? It's funny. I like it too. I think I'm really gonna like it though, which is why I'm here. I'm so excited about this because our aesthetics are slightly different, but the kind of island that he wants to create is somewhat in the direction of an island that I wanted to create. And I think with a set of themes that will somehow meld together. So what this island will be is half a cyberpunk island built by my husband and half a Japanese city core island built by myself. And I need to kind of come up with a terraforming plan that will work for my side of the island so that I can get as much juicy content for you guys out of this. So it's the best of both worlds. He gets to play Animal Crossing and hopefully he gets to make some pretty cool builds that I can then show you all. So step one is I am gonna go gather inspiration, get together a map design roughly, and look at some villagers, and then I will show them to him, talk about our island idea a little bit together, and then we gotta finish Papagayu so that we can restart and actually do this island. Let's just get right into the juicy part, the part that I'm looking forward to, the map. So we are definitely going to need a dual south river mouth, and we're going to need resident services to be in the middle. So the app that I'm using to design this map is called Happy Island Designer. And the first thing that I have to do is remove all of the terraforming that is there. And then I'm establishing that central river and putting a couple of bridges across it. I figure because we have 10 bridges overall now that I can give five of those bridges to my husband and five to me, but we can share each one. We can give an, a bridge to the center to make this connection. And I decided to establish my terraforming first off because I wanted to make sure that I had enough space to do a second and a third level. I like to have varying levels of my island that are actual functional levels that have buildings on them and pathing through them and create walkways. So I created this villager neighborhood up on the top here and I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted my house to go, but I end up actually integrating my house with the villager neighborhood and I don't end up using all five inclines that I've provided for myself because it just got a little bit awkward. I gave myself the museum so that I can do a museum build and I organized a shopping district right below resident services so it's easily accessible to both of us and I think it still gives enough for me to decorate around and gives my husband enough to play around with as well. It's a very equitable island plan, I think. All right, so here is my plan for my half of the island, everybody. It's a little bit all over the place and I'm definitely not gonna stick to this a thousand percent, but it's good to get my mind around thinking about half an island versus an entire island. For example, I only have five inclines, so I'm gonna be a little bit more choosy about them. I decided to go with a straight path look because I don't think that I'll be able to afford space to have a path that does the diagonals because that takes up a lot more custom design room. And I decided to put the museum on my side because I think I'm gonna care a little bit more about the museum. Plus it's really not that far away from the entrance. I love the canals. I used up almost all the inclines and all of the bridges that I can use for my side. So my process for picking villagers is always pretty much the same. I find a website that has their houses and the villagers face with their personality type and I'll link that all of course down below and I go through and I just take screenshots of the villagers that I like and then I bring them over into Photoshop once I've got them established to lay them out on a single document. So here's the villager lineup that I have pre-selected. There are a lot more guys than gals because I've narrowed down the ladies to exactly who I would prefer. And I need now my husband to narrow down the boys. And of course the new villagers are not here so I would include Cephalobot into this mix. So this is totally up to what we find, right? Like if we're on a villager hunt, we find a villager that we like. Anything's fair game. 
definitely down for getting just about anybody on this island to be honest. The main thing today was just to plan out the map and also to introduce you to my husband who will be building the other half of this island. So I think that is the next step. We're gonna get him in here. I'll show him the island plan and see what he thinks. All right, new day, same shirt. We are here with my husband, Lycan. Hi everyone. I was so excited when he got into the Discord and he was introducing himself and he said that he might be interested in playing Animal Crossing and I was like, excuse me? I basically thought it would be really fun if we did an island together and splitting it right down the middle. So the half that my husband's going to be working on is going to be cyberpunk. It's like my favorite theme. Anything sci-fi, cyberpunky, steampunk. I have no idea really what to expect, so. I think I'm really gonna like it though, which is why I'm here. Like the whole thing will feel like a Japanese city, yeah, but yeah. yours will be like the nighttime version and mine will be like the daytime version pretty yeah. much. I'm imagining, well, what you would imagine with cyberpunk. Like very, like a lot of gadgets and technology and blinking lights and colors and kind of in the bluey neon red tones. Yes. Little splashes of accents of other colors as well. Kind of grungy. Grungy, yeah. Nice. Definitely grungy. It would be really cool to have like a real retro feel in Ooh. there as well. So this is some of the inspiration that I've pulled for your side of the island. Oh, I like some of these already. Yeah, those top two on the left. So like yeah. something a little bit more like grungy feeling, that mm. kind of thing. And I like this one too, like all these pipes and gears. Then I found some neon signs as well. That. Oh, nice. Right? Yeah, I have no idea what they'll say. <laughs> I know. We should probably find out. We but... should probably find out. <laughs> but like all these steel patterns yeah. and these like caution yeah. signs. And I'm thinking both of us are going to need a road pattern mm -hmm. for both the city, the Japanese city and the like cyberpunk area will need a road. So that's one custom design set that we can actually share. We can use the same road through both halves of the island and it'll kind of make it look tied together. Yeah. This is one that I found. Isn't that, that's a little bit like that's extra. Very like retro 80s. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe in parts I could see that. Maybe not to that, that amount. I like the palm trees though. Oh, I have to show you this one. This. Yeah, that is cool. Another one before. Yeah, that one feels nice. So let's. Kind of gets you inspired, right? Because you're not really uh, used to <clears throat> seeing this world. Oh, wow. Right? Yes, that feels right. I know, right? Uh-huh. But the trick is, how do you make something unique? You're never going to copy this exactly. No, I'm actually not even going to look at any. I'm looking at it right now, but when I'm building... No, when you're um, building, you don't look at the reference, It's just going to really. be in my own mind. What I'll do is I'll look at reference of, like, say, movie, movie stuff. Yes. And stuff like that. And then I'll use that as a reference for, like, landmarks or, like, what combinations of things and how that looks. Yeah, For you, it's your creative. You want to be, be fully like, creative. Yeah. That, I see that. Yeah, yeah. I can, I get that. Also, I found this pink pool pattern. You could have like a neon pool. <laughs> yes. Yes, we can use that. And here are some like buildings. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of like Retro games I played when I was a kid. See, it's like, that it's feels, so fun. Yeah, that feels right. And I just put some like little inspiration uh -huh. here, some bricks. Oh, these like little neon signs too. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much your side of the island is gonna be a lot more cyberpunk with those bright neon colors. And I just wanna show you like a little bit of what my side is gonna look like just so you get that contrast. So I wanna have like a subway train. So this is definitely one, and that could actually work for both of our themes. Uh -huh. Maybe I can have the same as yours on my side, but in color. Ooh. Because kind of imagining like a nighttime side of the islands. So what would that train maybe look at in, night? At night with lights. And yeah, okay. So yeah, mine would have more like some builds that look like this. And then also like this is the signage that I would be going for more. You can see there's like a 7-Eleven and like little shop signs and that kind of mm -hmm. thing. This is the kind of aesthetic that do I they want. 7-Elevens? Oh yeah. They it's do? a huge thing. It's a 7-Elevens. Yeah. I, have to go. I know. 
And look at this building! Mm -hmm. That is beautiful, wow. Yeah, and like this. This is like quintessentially wow. what I want my side of the island to feel like. That is crazy. Wow, that is so cool. I've never seen a duck uh, in the game. Yeah, really because awesome. they just added these boat items, so people are now so making a lot more. So. Yeah, 2.0. That is so cool. That looks so real. And this... Yeah, I want to have like a rice paddy in there somewhere. Yeah. And I have a few different road patterns. But anyways, that's generally what I want my side of the island to feel like. So I think it's going to be really cool that we have these like, it's the same island. Yeah. So now the next thing that I'd like to show you is the map that I worked on a little. So this is how the map would be divided. Wait, where's the boba place going to go? <laughs> oh yeah, we have, have to make a boba place. Yeah, probably more than one. Actually, Lycan is the one who introduced me to boba and my love for boba. Really? You were. You uh, made me try remember. it, and the first time I did not like it. Yeah, I tried it a few years before school, before college. And I was like, I didn't even know anything about Japan. That was like my introduction to like <laughs> Japan culture of, in any way. Anyways, it was amazing. I was, and you were hooked. I was hooked. I life. I know. Now there's so many places to get it. I put the shopping district right at the front of the island so we can kind of share it so that neither one of us are that far away from the shops. So overall, there are 10 inclines and 10 bridges that you can use on your island. So basically both of us get five inclines and four bridges because- Incline? Is that like the different stairs? Oh, stairs. Staircases. Okay. I'm going to put, like, you see, I have two bridges here, one at the front and one at the back, so we can easily make a circle around the island, you know? Yeah. And I was thinking if you would be okay with me keeping the airport on my side. No, I don't mind. Basically, that means that the entrance to the island will be in the daytime, the town mm -hmm. side, my side, mm -hmm. and then you can cross the bridge oh, into the cyberpunk area. I love area. that the airport is right near the center and the access point between the two, because then anyone coming in, they can easily obviously visit both. And then I also put Nook's Cranny on your side of the, of the island. So you can do like the store, you can make the store very like cyberpunk. What's Nook's Cranny again? It's the store. <laughs> Okay. How perfect is this? There are 10 villagers that you can have on your island. So we're gonna have five each? Yeah, and there are four, there are eight different personalities. Four are female personalities and four are male personalities. Ooh. So you will get five male villagers and I will get five female villagers. Oh, okay. So it's gonna be like boy side. Boy side, girl, girl side. side. <laughs> yeah. I just thought it worked out well because then we know that we have all the personalities on our island because that's important to me. Mm -hmm. I love it. But what's to stop them from uh, going to the other side? Nothing's to stop them from oh, going from okay. one side to the other. So anyways, you will have to have five villager <laughs> houses and one house minimum. That's my house? Yeah. Those are the only buildings you have to keep in mind. So what I've done with my side is I've done like a little villager neighborhood that I'm at the top of, uh -huh. but you can do however you want. Next thing that I wanted to talk about was the name. <laughs> sushi. <laughs> I don't know. Boba? Is that weird? Boba land? It's no weirder than sushi. No weirder than sushi. Or miso. Boba? No, oh, wabi sabi. Wabi sabi is- I love that. You do? Wabi sabi, it's just funny, to, it's just fun to say. It is fun to say. And it's, yeah, I like it. Like it's maybe a... your size wabi and my size sabi. Oh my gosh, that's cute. My size the imperfection. A way of living that focuses on finding beauty and imperfection, accepting the natural cycle of growth and decay, nothing lasts and nothing is perfect. Is that really like true to the thing? Not quite. Maybe it doesn't make sense, but the name itself, I just love the The name sound. itself is cute. I love the sound. Wabi sabi. I also like Tama City. Because that's from that Whisper of the Heart movie that oh, I really yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. Thomas City. I kind of liked this one too, Chuya. Because it means day at night and day. Ooh. Anyways, we can think about it, but I just wanted to kind of tell you some of the names. Yeah. Of course. For me, I think Wabi Sabi or Chuya are like the top of the list. Does it really matter what it means? No one's going to really no. care. No. It's just. I don't care. I don't care either. I just care how it sounds. Wabi Sabi? It's funny. I like it too. I can have a sign being like, welcome to Sabi. When you cross the bridge, and then it can be like, welcome to Wabi on your side. That would be really cute. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You want to be Sabi. I want the bridge to look like, um, you know, the bridge from Spirited Away? Yeah. That red one. They have them. That would look be, it. I would love to have that bridge. 
These are the different kinds of bridges that you can have in Animal Crossing. That's very cool. I like that one a lot. Okay, cool. Can you change the color? It comes in this red or this brown color. The only other thing that I have to talk about is the villagers. If we find one that we like, we'll just invite them. But I will just know that I can only invite the ladies. I'm going to be very, very picky because you have to see them all the time. Yeah, you have to see them all the time. They're going to be your friends. You know, you got to have the right attitude. <laughs> I don't want no any whiners. I want people that are positive, good attitude, team spirit. There's a lot of robot villagers, so that might be cool. Seriously? Yeah. I've never seen one. Oh, okay. I'll show you them. Oh my god. <laughs> so there's That's this guy cool. who's an octopus. He's brand new to the game. There's this frog. Uh -huh. And there's uh, this alligator that looks like an airplane. And then there's also this um, sprocket. So sprocket, ribot. I want to see a better picture of cephalobot. That's him. Can you change their clothes? Yeah. You can give them different clothes. Okay, cool. Uh, and then I found some other ones. Oh my ones. gosh, can you go back? What's that? The picture next to it on the right? Is that an island? That's his house. That is so cool. Now we're talking. All right, that's what I, I want the inside of my house to look very there, similar. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so these are like the girls that I'm looking at, especially this one. I don't know why this mouse. I want her. Mm -hmm. She's cute, yeah. Yeah. Any one of these guys, especially B. I saw her once and now I want her. But these are the guys that I kind of roughly thought you would like. Kabuki stands out right away. Yeah. I think he looks bad. I think I have his amiibo. Do you? I think so. I would love a plushie of Kabuki. That would be so cool. You like Kabuki, eh? Snake is cute. Freaks me out. <laughs> when you saw Wolfgang on an island, you really liked him mm -hmm. too. Yeah, I like the wolf. You're just gonna have all crankies, aren't you? Is he a cranky? Yeah. No, I don't want a cranky. You have to have one cranky Why? because you have to have all the personalities. They're actually not that cranky. They're no? just kind of like, are they gonna complain to me? Yes. They'll complain about like technology. They'll be like, oh, these youngins with their, they're kind of old folks a little bit. They're on the wrong side of the island then. They're right. gonna be all technology. I'm definitely gonna have Dell, Ribbit, but now I can see how villager hunting would be so fun. I know, right? Because when you really, really want a villager, <laughs> I get it now. I'm starting to, I'm starting to understand. You're why. starting to understand my world. Yes, I could see. Now I, now I understand. I get so passionate. passionate. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy to introduce you to my world, and everybody, please. Your warmest welcomes to Lycan. I'm so excited for his Animal Crossing journey to begin in earnest. Welcome him, say nice things so he wants to come back, and we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye! Bye.